Dear students, let me present to you an interesting theorem followed by its proof. The theorem is as follows. If the variance of a random variable x exists, then the expected value of x square is greater than or equal to the square of the expected value of x. As you can see on the screen, e of x square is greater than or equal to e of x whole square. So how do we prove this one? Let us start from the variance. Because we have said that the variance exists. So we are doing this. So therefore, let us start from the variance. What is the basic definition of the variance? The variance of x is given by the expected value of x minus mu whole square. That's what you know. Okay, we can also say this as well. It is the expected value of x minus e of x whole square because mu is the same thing as e of x. Now, we have the ab initio formula that a minus b whole square if we open it. So, a square minus 2ab plus b square. We will open it like this. So, therefore, uh, this expression will be equal to the expected value of x square minus 2x into e of x plus e of x whole square. After that, the expected expectation ka jo operator that is outside the bracket, ke bahar hai, that will attach with every term. So what will we have? It will be equal to expected value of the first term minus the expected value of the second term plus the expected value of the third term. So what is it? The expected value of the x square, that's the first term, minus two times expected value of x into expected value of x, just like you are seeing on the screen, ke upar, plus the expected value of uh, x whole square. Because you know that if it's a constant, its expected value is equal to itself. So this last term is e of x whole square. That is a constant because e of x is the mean. And if we square it, then that is a constant. So therefore, expected value of a constant is equal to that constant. That's why I said that that is valid. All right. After that, let us solve it a little bit. And what do we get? Expected value of x square minus 2 times expected value of x whole square plus 1 time expected value of x whole square. So, it's clear that you minus it. And what do you get finally? E of x square minus E of x whole square. Now, this is all that I have talked about, which is actually a very important thing, but I have explained it in the details. What was the result of that? The result is that the variance basic formula hai, e of x minus e of x whole square that is equal to what we have just now uh, achieved e of x square minus e of x whole square. So now this equation bani, is made, you note that the e of x minus e of x whole square jo hai, to square of any quantity ka jo hai, that can never be negative. The square of any quantity would be either it would be positive, and if that quantity itself is zero, then the square will also be zero. So, this is the case that the square of x square minus e of x whole e of x square minus e of x whole square is the square ka ki expected value. This is the that cannot be negative. So therefore, the final conclusion is that we have arrived at the point where we are saying that e of x square minus e of x whole square is greater than or equal to zero. And after that, you minus the term of the minus term. And you get what you wanted to prove, that e of x square is greater than or equal to e of x whole square. So this is a basic property and it's quite simple.